Microsoft's latest browser is completely redesigned and set for release January 15, 2020. It's so good, I've already made it my default browser. Here are the top 10 Microsoft Edge Chromium best features that will convince you to use it too. Number one, new interface. The Edge Chromium interface has been completely redesigned. You now have three page layout options, focused, which makes search and your recent visited sites more prominent, inspirational, which provides a background image, and informational, which adds the Microsoft News Feed. You can customize these however you like. Chrome users will also notice the familiar menu structure. You have integration into Office 365, where you can synchronize favorites, passwords, and contacts with your Azure Active Directory account. And even the tab layout is Chrome-like. Number two, speed. Edge Chromium is fast. Microsoft has rewritten Edge using the Chromium open source development platform from Google, and now it compares to Chrome for speed. Take a look at these Octane 2.0 test results. Edge Chromium destroys Internet Explorer and the old Edge browser and is on par with Chrome for overall performance. You can feel the difference. See how long it takes to open Google Analytics in Edge? And now an Edge Chromium. That is so much faster. Number three, tracking prevention. Edge Chromium has added a privacy setting to prevent tracking and sharing of sites you visit. In the menu, click on Settings, click on Privacy and Services. You have options for basic, balanced, or strict tracking prevention. The balanced setting blocks known harmful trackers and trackers from sites you haven't visited. You can set it to strict, but it risks some sites not working correctly, so the balanced choice is the recommended setting. This gives you much more control over how your information is shared. Number four, collections. Collections allows you to organize and share information when browsing the web. Start by opening the collections pane using the button on the address bar. Select start new collection and give it a name. You can add the current page to your collection you can also drag and drop images from your page onto the collection, or you can right click on a link and add it to the collection. You can rearrange the items in the list by dragging and dropping them. And you can add notes by clicking on the note icon at the top. Quickly copy and paste your data into other applications. You can also click the menu and export this data to Excel or to Word. Your content will appear on a new tab as a table and you can easily sort, search, and filter this data. You can also click on the links and it opens the original page. Edge Chromium creates a visual card that remembers this data every time you open your browser and you can easily select from that list to go back to those locations. It's a simple way to organize your content and easily access it at a later date. Number five, immersive reader. Want to read an article without all the distracting ads and peripheral information? Use immersive reader to get directly to your text. It's this button up here on the address bar. Click it and it strips out all the other peripheral information. And you can even read this aloud. Samsung made a Star Wars Galaxy Note 10 Plus for Kylo Ren fans. How big a star? Choose different voice options. Speed it up, pick a different voice. Star Wars fan, are you big enough that you'd replace your smartphone? Immersive Reader gives you the opportunity to read just the information you want in the article that you're looking at. It's a great tool. Number six, Picture in Picture. Just like Chrome, Picture in Picture mode is available in Edge Chromium. If you open a video and right click twice, 
a menu opens with the picture in picture option. Select it from the list and it opens your video in the bottom right corner of the screen. Here you can play, pause, or close the video. It allows you to work in the background while your video continues to play in the window. You may have also noticed Cast Media to Device is an option on that same menu. This option lets you select a device to cast the video and it begins playing on that device. And it tells you it is playing right here where you can click and pause or play your video. Both of these features are part of the Chrome development environment and therefore now available in Edge Chromium. Number seven, dark theme. Edge Chromium has a new dark theme setting. From the menu, choose settings, select appearance, and change it from light theme to dark. You now have entered dark theme mode. To change it back, just reselect the light theme. That's it. Number eight, progressive web apps. Progressive web apps or PWAs allow you to run applications in a separate window from your browser. They act more like applications than websites and work independently from your browser platform. For example, let's visit the Google Maps web page. From the menu, select Apps and choose Install Google Maps. Click Install. It opens an application window for Google Maps and at the same time it creates an icon on your desktop where you can run Google Maps directly. Now you can run the app independent from Edge Chromium. Within the PWA's menu, you have options including Cast Media to Device, making it easy to share these apps directly to devices on your network. PWAs are managed from the Edge Chromium menu. We are to close this, you return back to the menu and select apps, choose manage apps, and now you see the apps that are installed in your browser. Close one, it will remove it from Edge and also remove the icon from your desktop. PWAs allow you to turn websites into applications on your computer, a great new feature of Edge Chromium. Number nine, extensions. You can add extensions to Edge Chromium simply by clicking on Extensions in the menu. Select Get Extensions from the Microsoft Store. Here you see a list of extensions broken down into categories. Select one that you want to install, click Get, and Add Extension. It creates an icon on your address bar so that you can access that extension. To remove it, go back to your extension page and click the Remove button. There are several extensions available from the Microsoft Store for download in Edge Chromium. Since Edge is rewritten in Chromium, you also have access to the large array of Google Chrome extensions. To enable access, turn on the Allow Extensions from Other Store toggle and click the Allow button. Browse the Google extensions. and you can select an extension from the Google Store as well. Adding extensions to your browser opens the door to an enormous array of third-party developed enhancements and makes Edge Chromium even more powerful. Number 10, Grammar Tools. Edge Chromium has experimental settings called flags. You can see these settings by going to edge colon forward slash forward slash flags in the browser. If not already enabled by default in the final release of Edge Chromium, you can turn on one of these flags called Grammar Tools. Once enabled, the Grammar Tools option shows up in Immersive Reader Mode. So if I bring up a news article and click on Immersive Reader, it translates it into just text. And now on the menu, you have an option called Grammar Tools. This gives you some choices of setting syllables, nouns, verbs, and adjectives so that you can see them within the text. For example, if I turn on Syllables, it automatically modifies the text to show you all the syllables and all the words. 
You can also view just nouns and it highlights them in red. You can also show labels to indicate which ones are nouns and do the same for verbs and adjectives. This option will most likely be built into the final release version of Edge Chromium, so you don't necessarily need to enable this in the flags settings. As mentioned earlier, Edge Chromium is set for release on January 15th, 2020. If you don't want to wait, you can download the latest beta version of Edge Chromium and get started using it right now. Just go to MicrosoftEdgeInsider.com and download the beta channel. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.